if sec theta is equal to sum of x and 1 upon 4x. Prove that sec theta plus tan theta is equal to either 2x or 1 upon 2x. Now we are given that sec theta is equal to x plus 1 upon 4x and according to the trigonometric identities we know that tan square theta is equal to sec square theta minus 1. Now we can substitute the value of sec theta here. On doing so we will get tan square theta is equal to x plus 1 upon 4x whole square minus 1. Now using identity a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus twice of a b where a stands for x and b stands for 1 upon 4x we can expand x plus 1 upon 4x square okay now let us consider this equation once again so tan square theta is equal to x plus 1 upon 4x whole square so on expanding we will get it a square plus b square plus twice of a into b then minus 1 okay now we can simplify it further so tan square theta is equal to x square plus square of 1 upon 4x then plus see this x in the numerator can be cancelled by the x in the denominator and 2 in the numerator can be cancelled by 4 in the denominator so result is 2 in the denominator we will have 1 by 2 okay then minus 1 further we can write it as tan square theta is equal to square of x plus square of 4x and then sum of 1 by 2 and minus 1 1 by 2 and minus 1 the result is minus 1 by 2 so it is minus 1 by 2 we can rearrange the terms once again let us see how it is tan square theta is equal to x square as it is 1 upon 4x square as it is and minus 1 by 2 can be written as minus twice of x then multiplied by 1 by 4x yes you can check minus twice of x in multiplication with 1 upon 4x is nothing but minus 1 by 2 okay now consider the identity a square plus b square minus twice of a b is equal to a minus b whole square here a stands for x b stands for 1 upon 4x okay so using this identity tan square theta can be written as x minus 1 upon 4x whole square now tan square theta is equal to x minus 1 upon 4x whole square we know that if p square is equal to q square okay so we can write it as either p is equal to q or p is equal to minus q so using this result we can write tan theta is equal to x minus 1 upon 4x or tan theta is equal to minus of x minus 1 upon 4x so we have two results of tan theta let us consider these two results one by one for the first result tan theta is equal to x minus 1 upon 4x we know that sec theta is equal to x plus 1 upon 4x it is given to us see sec theta is equal to x plus 1 by 4x it is given to us so in the first case tan theta is equal to x minus 1 upon 4x and sec theta is equal to x plus 1 upon 4x so sec theta plus tan theta is equal to x minus 
1 upon 4x plus x plus 1 upon 4x minus of 1 upon 4x and 1 upon 4x the result is 0 the sum is 2x so here in the first case we have proved that sec theta plus 10 theta is equal to 2x okay let us consider the second case in which we will consider 10 theta is equal to minus of x minus 1 upon 4x once again sec theta is equal to x plus 1 upon 4x once again consider sec theta plus 10 theta sec theta is x plus 1 by 4x but, but this time 10 theta is minus of x minus 1 upon 4x on simplification we will get it is x plus 1 upon 4x then minus x plus 1 upon 4x okay minus minus plus here x and minus x will be cancelled because the sum will give the result 0 so we will have 1 upon 4x plus 1 upon 4x it is twice of 1 upon 4x 2 and 4 can be adjusted the final result is 1 upon 2x so in second case we found that sec theta plus tan theta is equal to 1 upon 2x and in the first case it was 2x